On behalf of Expert Village, I'm Laura Banford, and I'm going to teach you how to make buttermilk baked chicken and garlic mashed potatoes. Now I'm going to talk about potatoes in preparation for making our garlic buttermilk mashed potatoes. Uh, you can use any kind of potato you want for mashed potatoes, but I prefer to use the russets. The russets are starchier, and therefore when they're cooked, they're fluffier and drier. And instead of using these, this is a new potato, a little a small red potato, but there's all different kinds of, of new potatoes. They're called new potatoes. Yukon gold potatoes, white potatoes, there's pearl potatoes, there's all different strains of potatoes. They have the thinner, you can see the thinner, smoother skin, as opposed to the russets, which have the bumpier, thicker skin. And the russets lead to a better mashed potato because they're drier, like I said, and they're going to absorb all the great ingredients that we're going to add to it, butter, um, you know, anything that you're going to, you could add sour cream, butters, usually, usually um, what you add, milk. In this case, we're going to add buttermilk and the potatoes will be nice and dry. So it's going to absorb all that flavor. Um, you can peel the potato before or, or after boiling. I like to peel it before because by the time the potato has boiled, everybody's pretty hungry and you don't want to wait till it cools off to take the jackets off of the potato. So even though it adds a little bit extra flavor, I like to peel the potato beforehand. And as I'm peeling off the skin, I always bring buy extra potatoes because everybody likes them so much. And I'm going to continue and peel the rest of my potatoes. And when we come back, we're going to boil the potatoes in preparation for mashing. See you then.